Hi everyone and welcome back to Sprinkle of Paper. Today we're going to be making a fun and easy hot cocoa station. So this is perfect if you just want to keep it on your counter during this holiday season or if you'd like to give it as a gift. It'd be perfect for a teacher, a neighbor, a friend, or just even a hostess gift. So everything I'll be using today are things that I've picked up from Target. So the first thing that I found were these disposable hot cocoa cups. And these were in the dollar section and I believe that this whole pack was only $3. And then I found these snowflake marshmallows that I thought were very cute. And then this three pack of glass jars. So this is what I'll be putting the marshmallows and hot chocolate in. And for the hot chocolate I just picked up a big tin of the Starbucks brand of hot cocoa. And then I found this little wooden box and I thought that, I mean, it did work out perfect, but originally I thought that the glass or the plastic top would come off, but it doesn't. So the plastic, it will actually just be the bottom and I, I feel like it actually is going to look really cute. So that was the only thing that I wasn't expecting, but it ended up working out. And then on the box, I'm just going to use this white glitter vinyl to put a cute saying on the front of the box. And this is an iron-on vinyl, so I'll be using my Cricut Mini Easy Press, and then my Cricut mat, of course, and then I have my heat mat, which I don't actually end up using. Now the first thing we need to do for this project is we need to create our designs in Cricut Design Space. So we're just going to open up a new project, and then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the templates for the wooden box and for the glass jars. The first template I'll be making is the one for the box. So I'm going to click on a square, and then I'm going to change the dimensions to 10 inches long by two inches wide. Now I'll go back to shapes, and this time I'm going to select the circle, and this is going to be for the top of the jars, and I'm going to change the dimensions to 2.5 inches. And now I'm just going to duplicate the circle, so we now have two. I'm only going to be using two of the three jars. Now I'm going to create the designs on top of the templates. So for the box, I wanted to put a cute saying, so I thought it would be cute since it's a hot chocolate box to put, let's stay warm. So I'm going to click on text and type out, let's stay warm. And then I'm going to change the font. So I'm going to click on fonts. And I'm going to be selecting the font Isabella Script. Once I'm happy with the design on the template, I'm just going to click Weld. And then I'm going to move on to the circles. So for the first circle, I'm going to put hot chocolate in it. I'm just going to type out hot cocoa. And then I'll just resize it to fit onto the circle template. And then for this next one, I'm going to put marshmallows. And so as you can see here, once I start to type out marshmallows, I realize that the word is too long. And to make it fit, it's just going to make the letters really small, and I really didn't like the way that it looked. So instead of typing it out, I'm going to go over to images, and I'm going to look for some clip art of some marshmallows. So there are so many different options when it comes to marshmallows, and looking at all of these gives me so many ideas for future projects. But for today, I'm just going to select these ones right here. They're really cute. They're just like happy little marshmallows, and they kind of remind me of those little um, Tic Tac figures, if you know what I mean. It's like their new branding. They have these cute little Tic Tac people on the boxes. So I think they're cute, so I'm going to select these ones. And then I'm going to figure out whether or not I want to use two layers or one. So if I only use the one layer with the black outline, it's going to make the inside of the marshmallows red, which is not going to be very cute. So I think I'm going to keep them two layers at this point. So now that I have all my designs on my templates, we no longer need the templates, so I'm just going to delete them. And then I'm going to click Make It. So now here on this page, I'm just going to make sure that I mirror all of my images because remember, we're going to be using iron-on for this project. 
So the iron-on I'll be using today is a Cricut brand, and I think that this color is so beautiful because it's really subtle. It's not silver, it's a, definitely a white, but it has little specks of silver in it. So I thought for a hot cocoa station, it was the perfect choice. And since this mat is kind of an older mat, it's not quite as sticky as it used to be. I definitely need to clean it. Um, I'm just gonna use a little bit of tape to make sure that the vinyl sticks to the mat. And I typically would be using masking tape, but I'm all out at the moment. But since it's Christmas time, I have a ton of scotch tape, so I'm just going to be using that. You just need to make sure that when you are putting the scotch tape on it, you move your images um, in Cricut Design Space so you're not going to be cutting over the tape because otherwise it's not going to cut all the way through. So now that the white's been cut, I'm just going to now attach the black to my mat. And this is just a piece of black Cricut iron-on vinyl that I had on hand. Now I'll just weed out all of my white pieces. And now the black. So since I'm going to be doing this iron-on project on wood, I'm just going to make the settings on my Cricut Mini Easy Press. I'm going to put it to the highest setting. And now while my heat press is heating up, I'm just going to fill up my jars. So the first jar I'm just going to fill with these I keep wanting to call them stars, but they're snowflake marshmallows. And these were found at Target, like I had mentioned, and they are actually really delicious. So they kind of have like a vanilla taste to them. So if you like marshmallows, or even if you don't, these are definitely worth trying. They're really good. And so now I'm just going to iron on the little marshmallows. And then since this is a glitter iron-on vinyl, I'm just going to let it cool for a little bit before I pull back the transfer tape. So now I'm just going to fill the other jar with the hot chocolate. And then I'm going to iron on the hot cocoa wording. And at this point, the transfer sheet should be cool, so I'm just going to pull that off. And now I'm going to iron on the black outline. And now while that's cooling, I'm just going to then iron on Let's Stay Warm. And now while that's cooling, I'm just going to pull off the transfer sheet for the marshmallows. And while I was pulling it off, I realized that it didn't stick. So I'm not exactly sure what went wrong here. I might have just pulled it off too quickly. I might not have kept like the heat press on it long enough. I'm not really sure. But I'm just gonna pull it off. It's coming off really easily and I decided I'm just gonna keep the marshmallows white. I'm just going to completely bypass the black outline. And now I'm going to pull back the transfer sheet on Let's Stay Warm. And luckily this turned out beautifully. So now to finish off this box, I just took off this little end piece from that top that we had originally taken off. And I'm just going to hot glue it onto the side here. So it looks like it was originally just placed on with hot glue. So I'm just using a thin bead of hot glue and I'm going to secure it so we have a complete box. 
So now that the box is complete, I'm just going to fill it up with all of our goodies. And now we have the cutest little hot cocoa station. And like I said before, this is something that would be so festive and cute just to use as a decoration on your kitchen counter or to give as a gift. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please just leave them down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Happy holidays and happy crafting.